and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning in to the WBM Podcast. This is one of your hosts, it's your boy, Mark. Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy, X-Fan. And it's your boy, Oski in the mix. In the mix. Tell them, Mark. Guys, do we have one hell of an episode lined up for you this week. We're talking uh, AI. We're talking about Elon Musk. We're talking about yeah, We yeah. Are Robots. Tesla and SpaceX, bro. Iron, bro. Iron Man, bro. The real life uh, Tony Stark. The real Iron Legion, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, bro. The future is nine. ChatGPT. <laughs> ChatGPT. <laughs> Feelings, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna talk our theories in real life in the Spot, next arc. <laughs> Spotify GPT. What's gonna be the next season of our technology? <laughs> Find out today <laughs> on this week's episode of the WBM Podcast. Podcast. You guys ready? Let's go. go! Man, that was a that was a hard inhale. That sounds just, sound just like his mom. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how we start uh, this week's episode. That's right. So artificial put now, <laughs> <laughs> bro. No chill. I mean, I thought we were starting over here, bro. No, this is going to be a professional episode where we have a TED talk. When does it oh. start? <laughs> <laughs> it's a TED talk. I completely forgot that Elon Musk wants the Iron Man too. He was. Yeah. He talks about yeah. an electric jet. <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. that was crazy. Circle. He made it happen. He, he did, but he was that movie. He was inspired, bro. He was like, why would we make this happen? Like, I am Iron Man. Because Iron Man 2 was like, called in the real life Tony Stark. Oh, he was. Like, Iron Man 2 is the way where like, all the robots the attack the armor. Yeah. Tony Stark, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. Bro, honestly, bro, I think he has his own private army. Because like, y'all saw that that thing he did, that event he did? The demo of the We Are... The demo the robot. of the new... Uh, they were Tesla brand, right? Yes, the yeah. Optimus robots. Oh, yeah, man, that's what I was Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And he showed them off, and, uh, I mean, they interacted with the, with the audience. Which was insane. The interaction yeah. was wild. Yeah. It yeah. sounded like real people. I, 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 yeah, really yeah. Know, I really want to know how advanced they truly are. Because at the end of the day, today's AI, what people don't realize, today's AI is just... Uh, a really advanced Google with the fastest way to search answers. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what AI today is. It's not actual AI. Uh, Expert. Expert had a had a great example. He's like Elon. Shit, the shit he has in his house, bro, is like twenty years in the future. We'll uh, get what he has. Yeah, I, I wonder if he had that robot already in his house, like t- tweaking it. You know, like that was in twenty twenty. Yeah, or like two thousand. Like in two thousand fourteen, that he already had in his backyard, but he was like fucking with it, like only ten uh, years, like. And right now he has that robot like released in twenty twenty forty five. That'd be crazy. You know? Does that yeah. make sense? Whatever. Yeah. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Like, 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 back to the Tony Stark. I mean, what if he always had Jarvis at his home, just you know, helping yeah. him out? I even think yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 He, he always called him Optimus, and now he really is Optimus. Oh. And what he has that he has now is Bumblebee. You know, oh. now Bumblebee's like super advanced compared to yeah. Optimus. That's true. <laughs> you know what? But Bumblebee yeah. transforms. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can get a moped. We're coming up with real life theories, yeah. <laughs> but it's not a TV show. So, How perfect is that? Like, what, like, what, okay, so like, here's the thing. What do you want to solve? Like, you know, for like, peace on earth. Like, hey, hey, Google, solve, solve you know, peace on earth. And like, peace on earth is no humans. And then it's like, That's hey, the well, like, like <laughs> let's say it hypothetically does. It's like, all right, look, all you gotta do is like stop drinking Coca Cola, and then like it leads you to like. You know, like just world a, peace. A, a, example, right? But, and then you do this, and it equals world peace. But human is like some nah. sort of butterfly yeah. effect. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like the big guy to stop effect. using batteries. Nah. nah. <laughs> I mean, if, that's, sure. it's, if it's like stop drinking coke and quit using batteries, well, society would never make it. Yeah, uh, I don't think he cares about world peace. Uh, I don't know, not to get too political. No, 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 no. He cares about like creating shit. Yeah. Bro, he's you know what? Again, uh, I talked about he's this. Not, he's not the real life Tony Stark. For me, I was a real life Victor Bundu. Same mask, different task. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, good shit. So what, what, what is that one called again? Uh, FM Doom. FM Doom, right? Yeah. Yeah, FM Doom. Uh, infamous, yeah, yeah, yeah. Infamous. Yeah, yeah. Infamous, yeah. Infamous, yeah. infamous Iron Man, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, what's the that bad guy? Yeah. What's the that bad guy from DC? Uh, not Clark Kent. Tinker? Not Clark Kent. <laughs> not Clark Kent. Uh, <laughs> what's his name? Toy maker? What's his name? Homeboy from the DC. Uh, Which one? He has no powers and he's Superman's greatest rival. Oh, Lex Luthor. Oh, you know what? That's a better reference. Yeah, yeah. Like, he's a real life Lex yeah. Luthor. I'm mm-hmm. sure one day he's going to be president. He's got a mini Metal Gear. Just in case any Metal Gear. Like, a Metal Gear is a walking robot that can shoot a nuclear missile anywhere around oh, the world. Oh, like a mech? Anywhere around the world. Anywhere, 24-7. Like he, he really has a Gundam in the backyard. Yes, he does. <laughs> Gundam! Yeah. Right, that's what he's got, bro. Because I think it's like, it's more like like the CIA or, or I don't know, because like the CIA is more like... <laughs> yeah, we're going to go that like conspiracy Well, he has a walking robot army, bro. 
Like, uh, I was sure, one, man. And I bring it up because one thing is if I had the money, bro, I would buy that robot security people, bro. I would walk around the streets of uh, Columbia with like 10 of those dudes, bro. Let's get a back so they don't have those models. They don't exist. We're, we're thinking in the future. Yeah, yeah eventually there's going to be a version. They showed up that... They they walk, but I mean, oh, yeah, they can be pushed away by human beings. Yeah, yeah like they have to walk with, with missiles. I right now, the the but Elon in the business side of me, I'm thinking, I'm like, hey, do you want one that can do construction work? Look, uh, I can give you these super ones. Yeah, like heavy duty ones. Exactly, I got heavy duty ones. Uh, the, the hands are interchangeable with m- machinery, and you never have to worry about workers comp. It'll cost you 120 thousand for the year to rent them out, or you can pay 120 thousand for four people out of construction. Uh, I'm job. sure that's on the way too, man. That's what I'm saying. Like, and they charge by the hour of the day. Yeah. Like, hey, you do pay subscription now, but if you pay in advance. I believe the event. Uh, some of them were bartenders. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they're serving yeah. drinks. Yeah, they were yeah. serving drinks and having conversations. Yeah, so the, <laughs> there was so, one that kept saying "amigo." <laughs> <laughs> he had a hat on. <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. Like, that was real so not. if you give them real jobs, like if you give them like an AI, your task, your goal is to do X, Y, Z. Yeah, serve right? drinks. Serve drinks. You come here to help out with groceries. You mow yards, bro. That's what you do. This is know? this is a Japanese restaurant I love. Uh, I won't give it names. I forgot about it. Post thirty bucks all you can eat. For like a uh, steak and sushi, and they just like, hey, what do you want? I want this, and they just bring it out because you already paid. There's these little waiters that whenever you want your drinks, oh, they have them on which are uh, replenished places, or yeah, places because they have them over there, and I get to bring it. You see things. it; it's already existing. And they they bring the drinks to you. Yeah, yeah. it's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. When are you gonna get the one with the chilaquiles? And they're like, hey, yeah. camera, man, there you go. <laughs> and like full authentic, like, hey, you know. This is, you know, Michael and Mary in the middle of Iowa, but the robots have authentic uh, accents <laughs> in speak mode of Spanish. Oh, yeah. That they give the experience, so they, they no longer have to, like, bring Miguel or Juanita. Well, one of them out there. But they, have, translate, bro. But, yeah, yeah. but they have 17 to 18 out there serving chilaquiles, and they're better. I love you know what I'm saying? I love Dragon Ball Z yeah. references. Like that, that. Yeah. But, yeah, no, 100%. I mean, but I just think yeah. about it, like, even if it's implemented in schools, bro, like oh. that shit. now there's no more prejudice there's no more like teacher's uh, favorite and now, now we're talking about all these like uh, ai movie uh, sci-fi movies but it's, where, uh, it's inevitable they they take over some of the, a lot of jobs it's and they take over society yeah. slowly, slowly take over our society so, so that, break that, that down my, my, my gates advocate is that they're like the offset has to be like that tax revenue has to be given to the public because there's like then they have no reason to go to like work. It's like okay, hey, yeah, like your job, like the, the job that one does is automated by AI, and the AI can detect. There's always a human aspect, but the human right. should be like, hey, I just make sure the robots work. You yeah, know, it's very like, cool, bro. It's, it's like, like Chuck E. Cheese. Like like nobody's gonna go out there and play the banjo for the Chuck E. Cheese, but they just make sure that the Chuck E. Cheese arm moves up and down. That's true. Know? Well, That's true. I, I did read something about it just this week. Actually, uh, an article came out about McDonald's, and they put all the AI touch screens. Yep. Uh, it, they they ended up doing giving more work. Like it ended up being counterproductive because really? of the issues the workers that were left had more work, so they were slower. Well, see now, now I'm not saying the technology yeah. is perfect as of yet, but yeah, it's already it's being implemented yet. here now yeah. because we have self checkout grocery stores. Yeah, we have self checkout uh, at at McDonald's. We have ATMs. The other, day, that the, have, other, the other day I went to Taco Bell and Taco Bell had uh, an AI. That's all you do at the drive-through. Yeah, right there. What? Yeah. yeah, you don't have to do that anymore. How huh, man? Help. There are so many times where that we yeah, just it was, choose. It was an AI boys. Yeah, yeah. Chad GPT taking your two order. Two creams, two sugars, separated. Not yes, in the coffee. <laughs> look, look, look. And instead of instead of Derek being like, "Hey man, I didn't hear you." You got the robot reading back to you. Uh, Chad GPT reading back to you. Yeah. Hey man, I just want to make sure I got this for you. And again, hey, it's just a really fast Google engine, like giving you an, uh, a pre-recorded answer. Yeah, and it even gives you like the filler that it's thinking is the um well or not that. Google, but whatever. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But, but that's it's just it. a search engine. Yeah, you but we choose to answer. we choose to not interact with people already as it is. Like if I'm going to the grocery store and I have 20 items, I, even if they're vegetables, I would much rather type them in myself than feel I have to inconvenience yeah. somebody. You know what I'm saying? Like so, that's just me. So what are you gonna do? Like like what are, what are humans? Being gonna do like, hey, there's no need to work. Like, like, chat sheet, like these robots in the wall. Because I think, like, you told me, I was gonna say that. Is that gonna be our uh, apple apocalyptic? Yeah, uh, like where it goes down. Yeah, yeah man. I, I guess because, like, if you even tell your robot, like, hey, robot, I'm financially, I need financial help. How do I? How do I make money? And were, well, first of all, you're spending way too much money on me. Yes. <laughs> but besides you, yeah. uh, <laughs> give me the whole plan yeah. first before it was you know, something was going to come out to the public. They're going to be uh, pricey. Well, uh, he already said 20, 30,000. 
That's it. That's less, a car. Less than a car. Damn. A Jeep costs forty grand, bro. bro hey, uh, I, I, <laughs> hey, hey, bro. I <laughs> made used to be shit. Bro, for thirty you know? grand, I made that robot picky back me to work. You know what I'm saying? And then you avoid traffic. Pick you back into work. Bro. What's up? Nah, nah, fuck the HOV lane, bro. HOV. Oh, and he drives. He drives. Oh, and speaking of... Uh, the cars. The cars. Tesla yeah. also released that. New cars. Uh, what, what is that one called? It's like the iCab or something like yeah, that. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a... T- yeah. No steering wheel. No pedals. Nothing. It just drives you. It just drives. Yeah. So basically what the cars were going to be, they realized that the technology was never going to get there. So he just made a whole new vehicle. I like the was lacking. Yeah, I mean, but hey, you can do the Tesla route. Yeah, it's whatever. So it's like in the movies. It's like I rub it or Minority Report. All these cars without without pedals and without steering wheels. Yeah. Just take it. Put it in. When, when Elon shows up, bro, he's literally chilling in the car like this. Yeah, and he gets out. But yeah, it doesn't even have anything, anything to drive it. Yeah. Guess what? No more DWIs, bro. There's <laughs> never hey. another reason for a DWI. You mean I can be with How many shit. lives? How many lives can you save, though? <laughs> driving the, so, uh, so pull over. You're driving the bucket. You can't be driving the bucket. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Sorry, bro. You know, uh, you know these robots aren't going like, to take like sex workers' job, bro. Yeah. Because like you can like you can actually you know and uh, you can actually like in from the, 1962 you know, edition. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Download like, skins for it. You know what I'm saying like, like yeah, exactly what it is, bro. It's all, it's all behind a paywall. Like you get to pick like the type the type of 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 you, wow, yeah, that's man. it. They also showed uh, up the the new band, the new passenger uh, band that holds like twenty people. Yes. Now yeah. again, that shit is insane. Mm-hmm. Amazing. It's self-driving too. Again, that's gonna be the public transportation. Yeah. Why? I mean, I, I, all people in social media called some of these signs are, are like I rub it. That Will Smith movie from two thousand four. It's, it's a pool. One hundred percent. Bro, the Thanks. government's gonna use it because like if the next riot breaks out, the riot gonna be like go home. You know, you'll be like, Iron Legion. Go home. Go well, home. That's what they did in, in I rub it yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. Because like, there, there was a riot towards the yeah. end of the movie, and they're like, go please home. Disperse. Go home. Uh, please disperse. disperse. They had the curfew. Yeah, yes. and they're taking over the city. And, and, they're, and, they're, and they're and they're fucking the robots up. And guess what? There's no prejudice. Yeah, there's no prejudice. There's no anger. Prejudice. Hey, they started right. it, and they're just still doing their job. Yeah. <laughs> you, guess what? Police hate crimes go away. That's right. That's right. And the politicians can go can like <laughs> politicians can put the side like, hey, I didn't start this. I wanted to go home to start a riot, but they start throwing bricks at the robots. Right. So the robots had to secure the area, you know. So like, hey, it's up to the people. They hit They hit It's an area where like, okay, well, the people are prejudiced against the robots, right? Yeah. I can <laughs> see that. They start destroying them, yeah, and that's when the AI is when I fight back. Skynet, bro, happens. I mean, that's it. Oh, there's a bunch of books that like, Skynet is still going to happen. Dude. We kept pushing it back with the movies. Yeah. It's still going to happen. Yeah, Dude, Dude talks about that. So a great, a great... It back with the movies. <laughs> You <laughs> talked about that a like, great war against the robots, and that's why they use the spice, you know, bringing it back to our episode of Doom. Oh, dude, yeah. You know yes, you guys have so look, look, look talk, out for the next there's, there's like a brief mention there's a great cybernetic war against robots because the robots AI, the, the AI, mm-hmm. were built against humanity, and there's like a, a big ass war. Yeah, that's why they, they outlaw AI. Yeah, they outlaw AI. Yeah. So eventually, like, right now, it's like. We're just using it for fun. Like, it's like, like any kid, whenever they get a toy like, or a new item, like, we just play with it. So we yeah. just play with the AI. And, like, you know. I mean, I'm excited for it, bro. At the end of the day, I'm sorry. I'm still excited for it. Yeah. Like, right now, I'll tell you what, because it's not going to go evil in my lifetime. At least I think. I hope. I don't know. Yeah. Because guess what? Remember the shit, like, if, if 15 years ago, they would have told you, hey, bro, we're going to have a fucking AI bot that can talk to you and give you any answer from all of the internet in seconds. You mean Google? No, bro. More advanced. Better, more accurate, and they can talk to you like a like person. Like the Jetsons, like the actual robot. And, well, no, and, look, and that's just Chat GPT. That's not even. Again, we would have told you 15 years ago. You're fucking crazy. We're nowhere near that fucking. I would say 100 years. Yeah. Now, the way, now, the way it's advancing now, what we're talking about is probably going to happen in our lifetime. Absolutely, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Because remember, I robot, the, I robot shit was like, bro, maybe one day in 100 years we'll get there. No, the, that's today. This uh, is that the, was that was last week. Like, speaking mm-hmm. of I robot, I robot is based on uh, uh, a collection of short stories from a uh, writer called Isaac Asimov. Isaac Asimov. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. And this is a collection, uh, the collection that was written in in 19. 19- uh, I got, thank you, Suki, for the notes. 1942, 
Uh, the short story was written in 1943. It was included in a collection. Oh, yeah, that, Don't Hurt. They say in that movie. Yeah. yeah. That, that's where it comes from. It comes from yeah. that short story, uh, Asimov's Loss. Oh, and that really? came out in 1950. My dad was still alive at the time. Damn, Concerts geez. that they wrote in 1950 are happening, are likely to happen right now. Yeah, so yeah. seven years later, they're just out coming to fruition. Yeah, man. It's yeah. Gonna, so what's going to be in the next thing? It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like, talk about the laws. How to circumvent the laws. You think that uh, Elon Musk is going to program the laws? Into Absolutely. There's going to be a global law. And Oh, and if, everybody will be it. If it's not him as a narco, it's like it's gonna because like cartels, like they're billion dollar industries. Like they, they like they're gonna jailbreak them. They, they jailbreak them. They will do for and usually definitely use it for like soldiers or like go at night because like now you have like a squadron of robots hunting you down 24 7, 365, and like your your hitman no longer to be on drugs or anything to do these horrible crimes. You know, like slaughter the town and the robots will slaughter the town. You know, I remember that. that we apply the laws. You know, remember a robot may not injure a human being or through inaction allow a human being to come to harm. Mm. First law. But what is it? The last one. Like the first two laws. Super, super, well, super the event. second law: a robot must obey the orders given by a human being, except where such orders would conflict with the, the first, first law. law. And the third law, a robber must protect its own existence as long as such protection does, does not, not conflict with the first two or second laws. law. Yeah. But really of good. course, I mean, there's paradoxes and there's loopholes that you can yeah, that's, that's, that's the thing. That's the uh, jailbreak. Like, Asimov never saw an iPhone, so he never knew a jailbreaking man. You know, the jailbreak. Oh. So he wouldn't have, so like, and, and like I'm saying, like evil organizations. If it's not him, it would be like uh, an old evil government that just buys it. You know, like, all uh, right, you know. It's like the yeah. Iron Man. That's just like Iron Man. Yeah. Yeah, that's, what he, that's what he wanted to prevent a, a mass production of it because if other countries got a hold of it, I, it would that's be a weapon. A terrorist weapon. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would. Like, I, I personally would buy like six of them, uh, the, the biggest baddies, like martial arts edition, Bro. and like travel to like Bulgaria or third world countries. But I feel secure because like I have six badass robots with missile launchers. And Elon's the same argument. Private army, yeah. Huh? Like, uh, that's me. Elon's yeah, you know me as a person. <laughs> Imagine something like Elon Musk, bro. It's going to work because his argument is look, nobody's. We're years ahead of anybody else being to this shit, bro. We got this unlocked. Yeah, and then Russia's yeah. working on it. And then Korea's working on it. And then yeah. that's going to be some real shit. Yeah, you know, because, but then again, you take out the, the human element of war. I would send in a thousand Iron Legion robots. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, and guess what? They're, they're expendable. Yeah. You know? Hey, I got insurance on these motherfuckers. And right? to like, that's why we send drones now. Mm -hmm. we, we already took it out, man. We already sent drones. Yeah, mm -hmm. some drones. But again, there's no human aspect. I'm going to say because it becomes an economic thing. We're like, hey, I lost my 100,000 million drones. Right. I can't afford anymore. Technically, I lost the war. What am I going to do? Send humans? You know, it's over. The yeah. robots will annihilate my humans. Yeah, yeah. And guess what? Because that's when humanity would stand up and say, no, I'm not fighting. Why? Yeah. Right. yeah, if the robots uh, can't do that, I can't do it. And then, like, humanity just accepts the fever right then there. Yeah. Wow. But I can see that happening. World peace. What? Right. Hey. <laughs> Sorry, bro. I'm just saying. 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 Mm. If the, look, if the robot can't do it, what the fuck make you think I'm going to do it? Yeah. 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 Sure. You're telling me this uh, fucking genius they machine? It. They want the land. They can have it. Bro, I'm not they fighting. Can they can have it. They can have it. Yeah. Yeah. You're telling me a thousand iron ninja couldn't do it? What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, man. <laughs> I love that that's the Iron Legion's fucking, fucking dope, bro. It sounds the Iron crazy. Legion, the Iron Legion's crazy. That's, a cool name. that's probably oh. what he's going to call it whenever That's what Iron Man called it, bro. He's like, release no, the Iron Legion. They call him Optimus, Robert. Dog. <laughs> release the Transformers? Release the Transformers? <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, Autobots. Optimus Legion well, sounds cool, bro. Yeah. That'd be sick as fuck. Uh, but Elon Musk had a really busy weekend too. He had the SpaceX launch. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah. the rockets are now being caught by his fucking ship, yeah, bro, which man. is insane. So he launched Starship, and it was a really good launch. Yep. All the way to space. Yep. And then the heavy rocket booster that's connected to Starship, uh, it basically got remote control back into the launch pod, and uh, a mechanism called chopsticks. Yeah. Basically catches it. Nice. It's so like robot it, arms. That yeah. And just to use it, it. it later. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 better it, just it destroying. It crash into. It doesn't crash into the ocean. It's not the brain yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's uh, incredible, crazy. bro. Yeah, man. That's millions of dollars worth of technology that's yeah, just thrown it away. It's going to be space Some people were saying it's already, like, more advanced than NASA has done. I believe so. it. Without government involvement, maybe SpaceX program is going to go a lot further than NASA. Here's I my mean. thing. This is the shit that I don't get. How do we know we're closer to the Jetsons, bro? And that was in the 70s, dog. Mm. All right? We got no talking dogs. We got we barely got the made robots, all right? We got no flying cars. Yeah, Siri, though. Yeah. Thank that, you, she's a talking. That was as close as we got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, serious. That's true, man. <laughs> but look, because we stopped inventing shit. We stopped doing shit. Once we hit the cell phone, like touch screen, we stopped doing shit we, after we that. Bro. We're close to that, bro. Yeah. Uh, but like, there's still a lot coming out that you wouldn't think you would have 20 years ago. 20 years. Well, I'll say it like this the uh -huh. coolest invention that we've had probably in the past 20 years, other than the cell phone and the internet, is going to be an electric car. 
self-driving car. That's it. How? We had the cell phone and shit was fucking banging, but we had like eight different versions of the fucking cell phone. Well, now, uh, you know? Again, like the cell phone that we have now is nothing compared to the cell phone that came out twenty years ago. Right? Yeah. That's something you got to think about. This cell phone that we have now is, you know, you could video call, you could take pictures, high right. def pictures, you could do all kinds of stuff. It's a video game console. But why did we stop here? Those what I'm saying. Like Elon was like, you know what I can do? I can make iRobot to real life. To real life. Why in the fuck that movie came out in 2008 and in fucking 16 years he's done it. NASA's had all the fucking, you know, however long. Mm. And we're like, yeah, the moon landing is still fake. We don't moon visit other planets. Is fake. We don't do other shit. Yeah, we just throw in millions of dollars. Do it now. It's like the moon landing was probably fake. Yeah, it's probably. I mean, <laughs> I like yeah, it. <laughs> no, no, if you got robots, I don't think it's more, you know. Well, guess what? We can go there now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll say robots. SpaceX, SpaceX is going to take us there. It's it's going to have tours of the moon now. Exactly. It's going to be crazy. Hey, bro, yeah. go get a moon rock. For 100 yeah. grand, we'll get I wonder, you a moon rock. I wonder, you got to wonder how much those tickets are going to be. And then, 100 grand. When are they going to become affordable, you know? Uh, the the I, know, I know for the first 10 years, they're going to be like only for the multimillionaires. Right. For the billionaires will be. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but after twenty years, are, are they going right? to be affordable? Yes. Yes. Billions, twenty years, yeah, it's going to be affordable. Billions are walking in space right now. Yeah, it'll be. Yeah, there are. Yeah. First yeah. time, yes. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think already did it. SpaceX, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's already happened. Yeah. But in in twenty years, yeah, uh, spaceship tours be tw- eventually. Yeah. Eventually, it's got to become affordable. In my in my opinion, yeah. now that it's privatized and everything, yeah, maybe more companies are going to come up. They were showing how like they want to do the one where like the the plane the the plane will go so high. That it, space, dumps, it dumps them out there, right? Then the Earth rotates and they just go back down. Hence, like cutting like the time, the time of travel. Yeah, yeah. I know exactly uh, what you're talking about. Yeah, when yeah. they strap them on top of that shit, yeah. they send them off from like the stratosphere, basically. And then come down. And as they come down, they hit the like boom. Yeah, and oh. they're trying to like the two hours. Yeah, that's interesting. That's that's the the, the flight. And I'm probably gonna go with space travel. Yeah. Yeah, eventually we'll just that's send cool. the rockets on the way to fucking China. Yeah, yeah. that's it. You get you fly to China two hours. You know, boom. Man, can you imagine New York City thirty minutes? Yeah, because the, the come down would be so fucking yeah, fast. Man. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, there'd be no fuel. It'd just be straight gravity. It's cool to see all that stuff that you see in sci-fi also becoming, like, real and stuff. We're yeah. now stepping into the future. Yeah. I can say that, guys. Like, what if it was there. nothing real? What if it was all AI and we thought it was all real and shit? That would be the same. Why are we in the Matrix right now? Bro, that's some advanced, like... <laughs> it happened during COVID. We're in the mm-hmm. Matrix right now. <laughs> yeah, the COVID. The COVID was the, 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 nano, the nanotechnology. The nanobots technology. Yeah. 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 So, yeah, man, it's, I'm excited for it because, look, I think about it like for elderly people, elderly people who mm. want to have a companion there. You can't afford to be with your parents. Like an eye rubber. <laughs> like, exactly, just like an eye rubber. You can't afford to be with your parents all day long. But if they slip and fall in the shower and they need help, hey, robot, call fucking help. You know what I'm and saying? Like, I like, can see the robot like having the face like your, your daughter's calling and it, it does the face of the daughter. And it starts mouthing what uh, you're saying. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, like the nanobot kind of shit to the yeah. face. Yeah. That'd be yeah. cool shit. Well, well, it's like a WhatsApp call. Yeah. That's what they're doing. It's like because of WhatsApp call. They're just a robot assumes the face of the person you're having a conversation with. That'd be cool shit. I'd be down for I that. Think, yeah. uh, that'd be creepy, but okay. Face swap yeah. technology already exists. It's, it like, does. Look, it does. Like, companies like Tinder and Pornhub can be like, like long distance relationship, have your robot, and then like. Be you, your bitch? Oh. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was strong. No, but I know you. I know you. My expert in sex toys over here. This is already sex toys that you could like connect via Bluetooth, to Wi Fi. Yeah, where uh, yeah. you could like you can fuck your bitch long distance right now. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. You could throw, like, you, you could have your own version, like your own pocket pussy, and the girl could have no, her, her own version. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be like the Pokemon Edition Misty version for you to buy, bro. And, like shit, like that's good. <laughs> hey, we got to do that. <laughs> hey, we got to sit with it. But yeah, no, I mean, <laughs> as soon as this one happens, no. Look, bro, because look, we're simple. Oh, God, I'm sorry. There's gonna be an AI guy. No, there's gonna be a, a AI a chick. God! <laughs> there's, yeah, there's gonna be an AI guy. And a guy who's very happy. And I got. <laughs> there's gonna be a bitch in the floor with a cardboard sign that says "Must be six feet, six pack, and six figures." Man, get the fuck out of here, bro. There's gonna be a robot, and, and, and I and he's saying robot is six five. You know, six figures. <laughs> you know, and he's gonna be like, "Why would I deal with this bitch?" <laughs> Oh, Lord yeah. have mercy. Uh, but I know I was going to have a small segue out of that, but I don't have one. The Matrix glitch. You gotta it's going it to happen, bro. It's just inevitable, you know? It, it is. Yeah. It is. I'm sure AI is going to get yeah. too large. Again, we're not going to say that the human element is going to be completely removed because it's mm-hmm. not. For example, like doctors and nurses, you can't resu- remove bedside manner. Until you right? get the old robot with the upgraded version that can do cardiac surgery on the spot, but you got to yeah. pay subscription for that one. Or uh, you know, we still I, need the bedside manner. Oh, 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 we're going to end up in cyberpunk where, like, not everybody can afford healthcare. See, I hope 
hope not. Because that would suck. You're right. Because then you end up with the janky ass doctors. Could your insurance only carry so much? Or could you make it to the high end spot where Can you, you make it to where they have the road? Yeah. That's what I'm yes. saying. That's the one. That's the one you want to go to. Because that's the one that, like, oh, you afford it. Because this robot has a 99.5 success rate in, yeah. in heart surgery. Yeah. You know? now, on patients that are 98. But it's you know what I'm really expensive. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. But it's, it's, gonna be a paywall. Yeah. And then he glitches with surgery. Nah, bro. It's a pay to win the system. <laughs> <laughs> I risk it, bro. But, but my thing is because look, here's on the doctors that are on call and they can't get to the hospital in time. If there was a, uh, an AI robot doctor on call that never had to sleep, that can go to any situation that no, you yeah, need. I'm it. sure. I mean, there's going to be eventually we're going to get to where, like, yeah. you know, it's, all, it's more convenient. Yeah, but yeah. we're not there yet. Obviously, yeah. the technology is still being worked out. Like you said, McDonald's tried to do a, a whole AI automated. No, no person interaction, and it, it was just, terrible. It just ended up making more work. I think that's what the article said. Right, it just wasn't productive. Yeah, but I could see it getting there one day. And now I will say though, mm. it's McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Elon Musk probably got a little bit more pool with the AI that he has access mm. to. You know, um, and everything's like coming to head. Like you said, like imagine a little car, right? Imagine a little like restaurant carts, where like the restaurant comes to you. Yeah, like, they, have, they like, have those delivery bots. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like a restaurant, no, like a full fish restaurant comes to your house. You watch it open up. Little robots come out and cook the food. That's fifth <laughs> element. You're, you're claiming fifth element. Remember, he wakes up in the morning time and that guy in the restaurant yeah. boat comes out yeah. on the side of his window. Yeah, he yeah. pulls up. Hey, what's up, brother? <laughs> he had like 12 arms too to yeah. cook the shit up yeah. and everything. Yeah, it's like, like, going to be like delivery food. It's like, man, I'm craving Italian. So here comes like authentic. Like, hey, yo, Ricky. Hey, yo, yeah, man, man. Here comes, you know what I'm saying? And like the robot, like in the robot box, the box opens up and it's authentic Napoleon Trump pizza. All right, that'd be cool. I'm down, bro. I like that idea. Patent that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's already yeah, doing I'm it. Already doing it <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, nah, man, but I think uh, overall the entire concept yeah. is going to be insane. If we're going to walk, bro, it's like there's no need to go to work. And one, one, day, day. one day we're going to have the Gundams. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have the Gundam. You know, I just want it to be a mech suit. If I can have a Gundam mech suit, I'd just be a mech suit. Yeah, yeah. I don't need to be. Uh, maybe the AI could help, but I, I want the Gundam mech like suit. Jarvis. No more like lies wearing yeah. Gundam track suits outside. <laughs> oh, could you imagine? Uh, Suki, what are your thoughts on? Uh... Yeah, you know, I do. I'm curious on what she has to say yeah. about this. Uh. Oh, oh no, there's our time, ladies and gentlemen. Well, hopefully you like our conversation on SpaceX and Tesla. That's right, guys. We Robot is uh, out now. Make sure you guys are staying tuned to that. What uh, the future will bring. I do look forward to it because I would buy one. I'm going to buy me a robot for the next Maybe the next arc of Elon Musk story. Right Maybe Suki may get replaced. Yeah. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Optimus 2.0, We're going to end up in Egghead Island. Ah, yeah. I love that. All right, guys. <laughs> this is WBN Podcast. is one of your hosts. It's your boy, Merck. Please make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at WBM underscore podcast, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, all that jazz. Make sure friends on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, Stitcher, and all that jazz. That's right. And check out the website, WBMPodcast.com. This is your boy, Oski in the man. In the man. In the man. On the bottom of the description, you're going to find two links. One to support the show. If you like all the bullshit that we talk, support the show. Let us know. The other one sends text messages for a shout out. Shout out to, uh, what's her name? Sarah. 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 Sorry, I forgot it. I had it on my notes. Shout out to Sarah. Thanks for the text. Are we all later, please? Fucking Sarah.